Hey guys, what's up? So I have tried filming this video four times, but this this is gonna be my last time, hopefully. Anyways, so I'm filming a book review on Angel Fall by Susan E. So the first part of this book review will be non-spoilers, so if you have not read this book, don't worry. I will warn you when I will start talking about spoilers. So this book centers around Penryn, a 17-year-old girl who... It lives in this post-apocalyptic world where angels have taken over and destroyed humanity pretty much. They've just killed billions of people. They've destroyed millions of towns and cities and everything just seems like a war and it's very, very... Everything is just up in smoke and ashes and it's just absolute chaos. Everyone is left to fend for themselves. Now, Penryn has the responsibility of taking care of her schizophrenic, schiz, schizophrenic, paranoid mother and her seven-year-old wheelchair-bound sister named Paige. Now, P uh, Penryn decides to look out into the world and find a better shelter for her and her family. So while they're doing that, they come across a five versus one angel fight in which the one angel named Raffi, which I thought at first it was Raph, but then I was skimming through certain parts of the book, but it does mention that it's pronounced Raffi. He gets his wings cut off. He's basically left for dead, and Penryn does a thing that pisses the angels off, and they basically kidnap her sister. So, Penryn, this book is basically about Penryn trying to get back her sister and using Raph. Um, who wants his wings back and together they embark on a very weird journey they develop a very weird relationship and they try to accomplish their goals now this book is very interesting I love how this is set up because there are virtually no plot holes you are not left wondering like what how did this happen like how what 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 she never explained any of this so I really like that about this book. Not to mention that the world building and like how everything is, is explained is amazing. It's a very easy to follow along book because Suzanne thoroughly explains everything that you need to know. Um, and it's amazing. Like it's a book that very easy to read and it's not super complicated. Another thing that I really like about this book is the fact that we're so... Um, whatchamacallit, we are very used to hearing or reading about angels that are good and angels are holy, they are um, very, whatchamacallit, like they're very, they're the picture of good pretty much and in this book, that's the complete opposite, in this book, angels are introduced to us as, you know, these bad beings that just want to take over the world pretty much and I feel like that's very different from anything that I have ever read. So that is it for this non-spoiler book review. Um, I really like this book. 5 out of 5 would recommend and honestly go pick it up. I don't want to talk about it too much in this non-spoiler section because I feel like it'll give away things and you're not going to be like super surprised or anything like that. So go pick it up. It's only $4.54 on Amazon and if you have Prime it's free shipping so yeah go pick it up anyways so now if you are still on this part of the video if you're seeing me watching me move that means that you have finished reading this book or you don't really want to read this book and you just want to hear about spoilers which is okay too so let me just say this book was amazing honestly probably my favorite book of all time and will probably become my favorite series and will probably top the infernal devices if the other two books are as good as this first one. I love how Suzanne writes. She, it's just, oh my god, I can read about this book for forever, but instead I listed a couple of points that I wanted to mention. The relationship between Raffi and Penryn is very interesting. Um, even though they kind of warm up to each other and Penryn starts to trust um, Raffi as the book comes on and my throat getting dry. Anyways, as they, even though they start to trust each other, Penryn still has that kind of thought in the back of her mind where she's like, he's still the enemy. He is, like, his race, his 
family, I guess, is what caused um, this apocalypse. And I love that. I love that she's still very mindful of that, that she, that this relationship will only be temporary. And I, it's, I don't know, I really like that about those, the relationship with you. I really like that aspect of the relationship with those two characters. Let me talk about the characters individually because I feel like that's something that's very important to talk about. Um, l let me just start off with Penryn. I love Penryn. I am a person, I don't normally like the protagonists in stories. I don't know what it is about me, but I feel like they're all just written the same way and I just feel like they're all helpless and I feel like they're all very reliant on their male companions. But for me, I feel like Penryn is the complete opposite. She's such a badass character. She knows how to take care of herself. She knows how to fight. She knows to run into dangerous situations to protect the people that she cares about. And I love that about her. I love that, yes, she is relying on Rafi, but only to a certain degree. She's relying on him because she has to to take care of her family. And I just love that. I love, love, love how she, she's able to exist with or without Rafi. If Rafi wasn't there, she would still go on to um, look for information on where she can find her sister. And I absolutely love that. Um, Raphael, mm, I love him to death. I oh, oh my gosh, he reminds me of Will Harrendell because like Will, he is, I feel like he's kind of closed off. He uses witty remarks, uh, sarcastic comments, like, all that jazz to try and push Penrin away because it's funny because it's revealed that you know Rafi's kind of like don't you know be with relationship with humans because that's bad and like look at him he's catching feelings for Penrin and I feel like that's very ironic and very funny um and I love that and I love that in the last couple of scenes he just breaks down he there were, well, there are a couple of scenes in the book where he breaks down and he shows emotions on his face, but I feel like in the last scene where he thinks Penny is dead, you can tell.